Hi, it's the 17th of September 2017 and I've been bringing in beans and squashes because the weather is very variable. You get rain practically every day. It rains and then the sun comes out a bit but not long enough to dry everything so things are kind of sitting in the damp on the ground. So even though the squashes are really not completely ripe I thought I'd bring them in rather than run the risk of them getting frosted or um, rotting actually. So these are some of my butternut squashes. Hi Pit Pat. And these are Burgess Buttercup. I planted two Burgess Buttercup and I've got one, two, three, four, five of those. And I planted two Blue Banana and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of those. The rest are over there. Um, I planted four butternut squashes and how many squashes did I get? 36. That's nine per plant. You don't look impressed. Well I certainly am and look at the size of them. This probably is the biggest one. <laughs> we'll be giving them away at Chris's church for sure. And then these orange ones are the Hokkaido squashes. They're much smaller than the blue Hokkaido and not particularly productive. I had two plants and I've got one, two, three, four, five. We've probably eaten three, so that's eight. So that's four per plant. That's the average. But the thing about those little Hokkaido is they're just the right size for two people because you don't want to be eating the same squash all week, do you? These are the Dutch beans that I got from my sister. Aren't they beautiful? They're so smooth and the line between the brown and the white is so clear. These aren't quite dry yet so I'm leaving them in the conservatory in the sun to finish drying off before I take them out of the pods. You can see some of them are drier than others. This sort of papery, it's not quite crackly yet but it's getting there. And the more yellowy ones. These are very reminiscent of the Coco de Pan pole that um, Vivi goes on about. You know the channel of what Vivi did next? She's very keen on Coco de Pampol. Apparently they taste delicious. And I've been wondering, is it actually a distinct species of bean? Because if you look on the internet, it appears just to be normal haricot beans, French beans that have been picked before they ripen properly. So I'm of a mind to take some of these Dutch beans, the Veringer Bona, in a, a half dry, demi set condition, take them out and see if they come out as creamy as the Coco de Pampol. Then over here we've got the beans from the Pyramid of Red Beans. I think they're called Ely. I got those from Canada, I think. And these are one of the other pyramids. I wonder if they actually cross bread. Beans are not meant to, but they're looking suspiciously like the cranberry coloured ones. And I can't remember what they're called. Over here are some white beans, which I think might be, um, do they call them Gigantica or something? I got a couple of pods from one of the ladies at Chris's church last year and they were practically ripe. So I thought I'll save those and grow them and see how they come out. They're rather like runner beans, but beautiful big white beans like butter beans. Oh, and here, hazelnuts. They didn't come from our tree. I'm not sure if our tree produced any because Chris hacked down the top branches and it might have given it a bit of a shock. But there's a tree down the street um, in someone's front garden and he's picked them all up off the pavement. They just fell off and I don't know, for some reason the squirrel hasn't taken those. So we've done a bit of scavenging there. So here's my little collection of demi-sec beans. These are some of the Ely beans that haven't quite ripened off yet. You can see they're not the deep cranberry colour they would be. And these are the Veringer beans. We've still got quite a lot of French beans to use up. I wish you could get them all year round because they're better than sweeties. A really healthy snack. So I made a salad with them. The little demi-sec beans boiled for a quarter of an hour. Some 
climbing French beans. Then I pick green, tomatoes, cucumber, an apple, and garlic vinaigrette. I never thought about eating beans demi sec before. In fact, I never heard of it. They're actually very tender and tasty. Maybe Coco de Pampol is even creamier and tastier, but they're good enough for me. See you next time. Bye.